Hey, 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 this is the boat doctor out here in that 250 uh, Alaskan. Beautiful boat. I'm just uh, checking everything out. I'm trying to get this uh, heater to work. I don't think he's used it, used it in a while. Uh, I'm going to try it one more time. Sometimes the, I think the house battery's getting low, so they need to check that. They need to bleed the steering. Okay, right now you got your tachometers right here. You got your miles an hour, miles per gallon. Tack, if you give it a little gas, you'll see this eco mode. You got your temperature, water temp, trim gauges. Then you just hit this button. And that goes through the menus. And you can tell that house batteries, because these numbers will come on once this thing uh, uh, warms up because I just fired it up, fired that up, and I think that house battery got a lot to do with it. I'm going to go back there and check, make sure everything's on. Yeah, everything's on. So I'm going to wait for that heater to see if it wants to fire up, and then these gauges should come up. It's starting to get them right here. Here's your tax, here's your trim. Here's your RPM, water temp, then these numbers will light up eventually. So I'll bring this back and I'm running on just one motor, or not one motor, but one control. You push this lever and then that makes it so you're running on both levers. Trim tabs work. 3.8, let me see, I'm gonna push this over here to this one. See if that thing will fire back up again as I look at that heater. Then you just hit this button right here, start that one up. You go back here, you hit this one on, let it start up. You got rear deck steering, hit the motor, starting switch, here's the battery. Shut off switch. Is a holder. Hey, how you like that? That just in case. You never know. If I get time, here's your weight. Over here is your gas. Here's your toilet. And I was gonna check and see if this light worked. Now the toilet here. That puts water in it. That puts the water in it and holds it. That flushes it. We're gonna shut that up. Then you just hit accept right here. And then accept right here. And I'm doing this on a Saturday. Glove box. Then right here, if you open this up, these steps come out and you can climb out to the front. Storage, 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 storage. Swivel seats, VHF works. Start trip. Not now. If you want to activate the radar, just push that. Hit your menu button, transmit. And now if I want to touch this, that highlights that that's orange. So you hit here, radar options. This is B. That's what I want. Transmit. Go back. So now I got radar overlay. Radar, fish finder. Uh, now see, here's where the funny thing is. See how that right there, it's got the flames. So this should be getting hot right now. But I'm still not getting my gauges here. So this must be somewhat out of that house battery that's acting up. Cab lights. Check on here. There you go. So that's how that one works. Fish box, fish box, uh, house batteries up underneath there. The other two batteries are there and your water separator is in behind that. So I'm gonna look over there, that's still working there. I'm not 
not feeling any heat. So that kind of makes me wonder something. Because if that's solid, that means that's ignited. So now, granted, it's going to be cold for about 10 minutes and you should get the heat out. But if there, something goes into default, there's something wrong with that heater. Okay, wipers. Horn. It doesn't have a bow, it doesn't have fan. Nav lights work, cab lights work, courtesy lights or them back lights. Huh. Heard something. But anyway, where was that? Oh, cab lights. Courtesy lights are the ones in back live well. I'll show you that. That's still working. Trying to see if there's gonna be some heat coming out of that. And if it doesn't, then I know for sure it's in the heater. And uh, no. Start trip, yes. There you go. So everything there is working. Okay, live well. Comes back here. Hit this switch right here. And that's that, and that's where you wash down. And those both work. Here's your rear deck steering. That works. And it says it's starting, but we'll see. I ran it default, I don't know how many times on that. They said it was rough over here. That's storage. Storage, holding tank. I hear that thing's trying to fire up. That's where your diesel smoke should be coming out. Sometimes if you got a heavy wind, it won't ignite. It's coming out of the north. There it's firing. Aha! Finally starting to get heat. So it's finally working. That could have been it just need prime. A lot of junk in the water here. So it's working. So now it gets down to Yeah. He could have shut it down wrong too and it locked up. So I had to unlock it. Turn the light bulb off. <clears throat> now, we'll be able to tell. Because now I know that it's working. I can feel the heat. And you should run these heaters like I say, oh, as much as you can. Every time you go out, I probably, if it's been a month, fire that sucker up and let it run for a while. You don't want that diesel fluid just sitting in the system for a long time. I'd actually let that diesel get down to almost nothing and use kerosene. Oh, there's some bait right down the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna try something here because these gauges here, but this heater's on right here. So I'm gonna bring these back. I'm gonna go ahead and shut that off, shut that off. Turn the key off. I'm gonna see what that heater does. So let this gate shut off. Now that's more like it. I got some heat out here. This should be shut down. So I'm going to go into here. I'm going to go into instruments. And he's got his fuel flow and stuff reading on here. So I'm wondering if there's any delay in this a little bit.
See now everybody's moving back this way again. Turn the key back on. Start it up. Start it up. Packs are working. Neutral, neutral. Speed over ground, 20%. Trim works, trim works. So he's got it on these gauges. Trim works. Yeah, see how these are starting to work now again? It just takes time, I think, for to read back and forth. Is all that's now. See what happened? That heater it went into a default again. So there's something. There's something funny going on there because these don't work, and all of a sudden this works, and then the heater quits. flame out so the only way to do that is to shut everything off and then restart it so what I'm gonna do that this was heating up so I'm gonna let this cool down I'm gonna try this one more time when I get done so anyway I go into here I can hit this now I got all my gauges everything works up here but that heater quit and that could that could be a bolt drop through that house battery is doing this too but it just seems funny this doesn't work and it stays on 